you're watching 8-bit days a week and it has finally been released just um, a few hours ago actually and this is the latest version of uh, Bleem Sync and as you can see there's uh, some cosmetic changes that's supposedly fully customizable but anyway uh, let's get right to it let's see uh, load core I'm gonna play Tekken so I'm still doing things via RetroArch but uh, most of the changes actually you will see it in um, BleemSync uh, they have a new way of uh, loading stuff and uh, it, it's very straightforward actually very handy you just uh, add game and uh, select the binq files and I do believe ISO files are already also supported um, that's it they automatically set the folders and um, the artwork for you although um, personally for me I just prefer the straightforward uh, drag and drop on the USB drive from the PC so I don't do any of those syncing things that um, you may require to do if you want to play games via like the stock emulator uh, but for me yeah let's go ahead and do things from RetroArch you may not have those uh, artwork it's all bare bones you know, very minimalist I don't need those menus anyway personally maybe if I decide to load things straight to the storage of the PS Classic but I don't think that's still recommended right now and okay we're watching uh, we're gonna be playing Tekken 2 here mm, just to check my settings uh, yeah by linear filtering off and um, here's uh, one of my favorites overlay you can put scan lines now and if you've uh, been on my channel for quite some time you'd know how much I love my scan lines All right, Tekken 2. Round one. Fight. Yeah, this is how it should be. So, a lot of you may prefer to um fix things on on the on the stock uh, emulator I mean you know the presentation at least you'll have the menu you know the carousel thing where you have the stock games so loading those ga loading games on that is um, much better now and I believe you, you can also load the the stock games on the RetroArch so you'll be running the RetroArch emulator instead of the stock one uh, which is great I guess they're pretty much the same well, almost the same because the stock emulator is based from the PCSX rearmed as well alright 
Oh, oh, I forgot to have the display frames per second counter turn uh, to turn on. Um, thing is, yeah, I guess I got used to the old one where it's already on by. Why do I keep doing that? It's on by default. <laughs> But I don't need a f FPS display in order to tell that it's actually running perfect. a lot of uh, days playing this on the arcade of course I always felt that um, I am at a disadvantage against players who have a PlayStation 1 during those days they get to practice all the moves. Something, uh, a luxury that I wouldn't have on the arcade since that would be very expensive. And you have to buy the, ma uh, I have to buy a magazine just to know the moves. All the moves since uh, this is like one of the first games that I tried to memorize but unlike say Street Fighter where you had like three two or three special moves this game had a lot like really a lot so it's really a lot to take in a lot to memorize so having a PlayStation during those days be a huge advantage over arcade players like me. I was always fascinated how they actually progress the story here that the end boss of the first game is now like the main character I guess on the second and the uh, main character from the first game is now the boss here it's a uh, progression that um, something I haven't really seen back then I don't think there is something like that right now although these days they just tend to throw everyone in just increasing the number Of course, on the third game, Heihachi became the boss again, or at least the mid-boss, second to the last boss. I am still bad at my 10-hit combo timing. the dead fist sorry about that all right I actually made a blunder or at least I just don't know how to deal with yet I haven't really explored but I um, one of the requirements of um, having the UI to work for the Bleem Sync is that uh, you kind of open it in your browser. But to do that, you have to have the PlayStation Classic connected to the computer. And you go to this address, and that's where you do the addition of uh, games 
if you want to see the games on the carousel. But I also set my PlayStation to... It boots straight to RetroArch. If, I don't know if you notice it on the video on the start. So yeah, I don't see the health and safety warning anymore. And I don't have to choose whether I want to start Gleam Sync or RetroArch. But yeah, I kind of noticed that I can't go to the menu now. <laughs> But anyway, I'll have to look it up. This is um, my first time, not much experience yet. It's probably on a documentation, documentation somewhere. Alright. Devil time. hit there. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your PlayStation Classic as well. I hope you... I actually encourage everyone to mod their systems. There's no reason to keep it in its stock version. And yeah. Looking forward to the future updates on um, the Bleem Sync. I do believe they have more changes planned. But I'm pretty content with what we have right now, actually. And okay, I think that should be it uh, for this video. This has been actually a quick run through on Tekken 2 not much a uh, not much of a long game actually so I'll be going ahead and um, trying more games with the newer newest version and let's see what other if there's any other improvements that we can find and you're watching 8 bit days a week please do like comment and subscribe thanks for watching